An image of the church is used to describe a particular person or object in the Catholic faith that portrays a hidden meaning. In essence, it is an image that is symbolic of a deeper meaning of something important in the church. One image of the church is the church of the pilgrim people. To be a pilgrim people means that as a church community, we are moving towards being perfect on our journey to heaven. When Jesus first sent his apostles to preach, he sent them two by two to show others, through their example, the path to holiness in which we are all on. He tells us to be perfect, just like our Holy Father is perfect. Our journey towards heaven will involve sacrifice and simplicity on earth. This idea of the pilgrim people was seen during the historical event in the church known as the Second Vatican Council. The council emphasized as the people of God who sees herself as exile, a program on earth heading towards salvation. The documents written at the council explain how the church moves towards the fullness of perfection. The image was very important in reminding all people that we had to be followers of the cross. As Catholics, we must be willing to sacrifice and suffer like Jesus did in order to have eternal life with him. For example, there is no greater way to love than to lay down one's life for a friend. In sacrificing for others, we will have traveled like Jesus did and reached the same destination. A concrete example of how social media exemplifies this specific image of the church is through Pope Francis' Twitter account. Pope Francis has over 10 million followers on Twitter. This showcases that our society cares for the Catholic faith and wants to read what Pope Francis tweets. Through Twitter, Pope Francis has been able to spread the gospel message but also refers to us as pilgrim people. Pope Francis tweets about the importance of our journey to salvation. One of his most recent tweets was, When the journey is uncertain and you fall, God, rich in mercy, will extend his hand to pick you up. This tweet can relate to us because during our journey to perfection and salvation, we will encounter battles along the way. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This is a reminder that God will always be there for us. The three secular works of art that we chose were the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, and the Golden Gate Bridge. This is the people of California and the bridge to travel. The Golden Gate Bridge can be related to the pilgrims of God. As the pilgrims of God, we are to be migrating towards Him. One step of this migration is crossing the bridge into His loving arms. When a dove returns to Him in the evening, there is a when the fresh reflects all of you. Then Noah knew that the water had been freed from the earth. The dove has been a long symbol for hope with humanity since the beginning. This passage talks about the hope the dove brought to Noah in the end of the flood. Having God with us may lead to a better life with hope. As children people, we must always keep hope in God's plan for us. Just like with my art, hope may carry on onto what they may need in my life. This piece of art relates to the assigned image of the church, which is pilgrim people. As Catholics, we are on a journey to reach salvation, and we are striving towards perfection. We can use the Statue of Liberty to symbolize how we can also be considered immigrants in our journey to salvation. As immigrants, many people struggle to accept their new life in America. They needed the proper necessities and hard work to make it alive in America. As Catholics, we need to surround ourselves with people that will help us achieve our goals to salvation in order to reach heaven or the statue of liberty to symbolize eternal happiness and freedom in God.